When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. I'm just an angry old vet. I'm aiming straight for your head. Ain't got no reason speaking to you if we ain't breaking no bread. I got demons, I got I'm trying to erase all my blessings. Dealing with PSTD anxiety. I want to have a word with Joe Taro. You have a death wish? Some people say so. Leave a while, you still can. This number is temporarily unavailable. Please leave a message. Jack, I got no clue where you are. What happened to you? It all got so fucked up. If you... If you're there somewhere... Oh, fuck. I... Oh, what am I doing? Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake. Ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? A lot of things have been going on in my head lately. This was... different. Refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here. Come back. But I need something else. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it. Try to rearrange? No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out. And maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. 
Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody would care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax, you don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk, to you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kinda like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. Have you ever heard of Jotaro Shobo? He's one of the tea claws. Tiger Claw's moonlight is beeping Tom's. You always got eyes in their dolls. You know what goes on in these boots. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch. Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. And who'd be buying? Wait, no clients allowed in here. Be a germ and close the door on your way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth 2. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. They call you Woodman, right? That because you have as much charisma as a tree stump? Somehow, I doubt you understand the situation. Situation? What situation? Think I'll give a cat's turd about every limp dick who walks through here? Clouds is under Tiger Claw control, isn't it? That's none of your fucking biz. Guessing you heard about Jotaro Shobo? Uh, Shobo had an accident. What Shobo had was a very unfortunate meeting with me. Just happened to be his last. You wouldn't want this to be your last meeting, would you? Of course not. Never wanted to be anything like Shobo. Girl you're looking for, Parker. She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. 
But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. You took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. <laughs> Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. Only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crib. Well, anything's better than a bullet to the brain. <laughs> you know, that's what every doll says. I'm starting to like you. You looking for work by any chance? The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. Got a real charm, this place. In that slimy, subterranean kind of way. See, your opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire'd really make this place shine. You think Fingers got her? Think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. You had a plan, you tried, it fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. Oh, fuck! What the hell is that? No, no, damn it! Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommish before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka. We got a half-century-old score in each settlement, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. You might even laugh if it didn't hurt so much. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need. And Makoshi's how we grab it. You know you're just an irritating hallucination, right? And should just ignore you. And you're a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Don't trust you clear, right? So why would I trust in your plan? Because you've heard your death knell, but you'd rather live. So if you're done bitching, I'd be happy to explain. Sound good? Not really. No. Well, sooner or later, Makoshi's where we're headed. 
Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Mikoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bomb's named Alta Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. I called, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh, shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later, V. Not one step closer. Here to see who. Got an issue, need sword now. Here to do that. So how about you fuck off, let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get-go? I was only joking. Sheesh. Fine. Let him through, sludge. me and you can fuck off the green of past. down and wait your turn. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helps me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Better than being a cripple. Here. I sought to cover you for some real chrome from a real ripper. If you're flush enough to afford a real ripper, then what are you doing here? Hell do you care? He here cause he feel like it. Now thank the man unless you and me Delta. Can't see nothing but a blur. 
faceplate's previous owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Your eyes I think he's done. Dust. We going in? Come on, let's go. Yes? Hello? What can I do for you? Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. <laughs> but I'm busy right now. You tiger claws! Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mox. The mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? I used to ride with nomads. Resourceful folk. Wouldn't cast anything aside until it was worn down, dead, couldn't be fixed or reused in some other way. But what you're giving these girls, not even nomads would touch that. Please, let's not exaggerate. I give them what I can. What do you two want? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. Forest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Get to the point. The point? Ah. Yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. You're scum. Pathetic. A waste of words. I'm a hair away from putting you down. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Want details, damn it. Name the studio. They mentioned a moth, of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air. I'll be outside. Hanako Arasaka recently arrived in the city in the wake of the tragedy. A wake will be held at Arasaka headquarters tomorrow at noon, after which the late CEO's remains will be transported to their final resting place back in his native Japan. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the death's head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's head symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This... Industry. I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. 
Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. I know where we can get our hands on an XPD. Might not be a dead set, but it'll be a start. I was on a contract taken out on a guy named Jotaro Shobo. Mm-hmm. The Mox put a bounty on his head. So you were the one to cut him down. Found out he was dealing in XPDs, sourced from someone on Jig Jig Street. I got the coordinates. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. I want something that'll floor me. Really scramble the neurons. You got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootout, black ops interrogations, invitations. No, 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 no. I mean something like, you know, you know. Fetishes. No, come on. You know what I mean? No, I don't. I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head'll cost you though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. What the hell's got you so in? Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something like this. for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. EC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Bucket slice chicks out too. Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head Moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gonks to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. 
I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So? If you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. All right, going in. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to the lower levels. Did you pick up any woman? Get laid. Let's try food. Did you eat anything good? Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. V, hold up. I'm close. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Hear that? RTL and the weight will be right. RTL? Erythritol. It's like candy for grown ups. This RTL. We need to get into the hallway past this room. Okay. What about them? I can always just get rid of them my way. Your call, but you gotta make it now. Eat it, assholes. Looks like you got them all. Gutted out all our implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Scavs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Freed up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. You really don't fuck around, do you? That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And? 
Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's gotta be seriously traumatized. She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? What's there to wait for? Didn't go through hell and back just to stand in front of a door. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. All Have right. a seat. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the Virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be... Parfait, Boris. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual, relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Where you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. Let's see. 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 let Now's down our search, at least. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, I think we got everything.
What do you think? Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her ship. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. It looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, lui allez. Vous t'es qu'une raison, moi c'est tout intelligent pour ça, protéger bien. On n'est pas enragé. En plus, c'est pis bon moyen nous gagner pour nous river sur yon nos pour. Faut que nous prenions chance là. Vous gagnez plus bon l'idée? Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est bon critique, ça me pense. À continuer à faire travail ou. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Asian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Vous gagnez plus bon l'idée? Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est bon critique, ça me pense. À continuer à faire travail. Vous. Ok, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Long story, trust me. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Now's not the best time. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff. In my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are, who the woman is. Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Listen, I'm gonna run. I'll ask around, make a few calls. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. V! What's shaking? Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if he can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. It'd be tough getting a word into her. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. 
But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Sorry, it's personal. Well, that's fucking helpful. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences? Ay, Jesus Christ, You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, vi. Who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Bukako, long time no see. So what brings you here? We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorsey? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a river dock. Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to him just in case. You need him more than me. I'm not taking him all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an eddy. That's what friends are for. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? That is a fact. Doesn't Jillian Jordan get herself fitted out here? We try to protect our clients' privacy, but I'd be lying if I said no. I always wondered what it'd feel like to spend a ludicrous amount of eddies on threads. And you come to the right place. Welcome to Jin Guji. Just for one. Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. V, nice to see you. Okay, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night, when Jackie fell. I should say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda 
There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket... That would do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Hi, V. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Hardly gonk at all. Just... human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. What, you, you two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. You need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Looks like he swapped out the exhaust pipe. What? I advised him to do it. Right before the job. Oh, Jackie. That a... mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. 
but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... <laughs> I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Jack. Pure and simple. Well, you got something for your Ofrenda. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What'd she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning? Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. V, hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. 
I'd been hired to drive him and some contraband across the border. He bought some goods clipped from Arasaka. Top secret. Priceless. <laughs> A lizard. And, uh... I'll remember what he said then. That I came from a place where everyone's family. So he must be too. Jackie Wells. Always hungry for more. And never gave up. Not once. Once he set his mind to something. He was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me. Broder. The one thing we can't do. Is be afraid of others. He always knew what he wanted, and he took it without asking. But most importantly, everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone, everything. But they were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious chum who never gave up, and whose drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do. Reach for fortune and fame. No fear in eyes or heart. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chu. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Let it go, Mama Wells. Excuse me. She's a good woman. And your son loved her. Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, V. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells! May he rest in peace. Got something for me? Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the VTBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing, so I volunteered you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. Okay, so who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on Sloan. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you, nod to you. Something spooky. Got it. Thanks.
and the guns shout above our heads and we kiss as though nothing could fall and the shame Just for one day